There was a recent study that said that 40% of liberal women have mental health issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, you know, don't take my word for it. Go Google it. I mean, that's what Google's there for. You know, you can Google anything and find out anything. So you don't have to take anybody's word for anything. Don't take my word for it. Go check it out for yourself. But it's true. Two out of five liberal women are nuts. Huh? They've had mental health issue. What the fuck you think that means, motherfucker? It means that they're nuts. They're off their fucking rocker, right? And you don't want to date a woman who's crazy, okay? <laughs> I, I did a video called Don't Fuck Crazy, huh? But yeah, you, you don't fuck a crazy woman. Mm -hmm. You know, not for this issue like, oh, you know, she's handicapped. She's got a mental health disorder. You, you, you shouldn't have sex with her. No, 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 no. Don't fuck a crazy girl because she's going to wind up chasing you around your kitchen table with a serrated knife threatening to chop your balls off. That's why you don't date a crazy chick. But quite apart from that possibility, which is a real possibility, which happened to me as a matter of fact. You don't date a cra uh, liberal chick. Well, a crazy chick you don't date, but a liberal chick you don't date. Mm -hmm. Not because there's a two in five chance of them being nuts. Uh, that's bad enough. No. The other problem is that, see, the, the other three in five liberal chicks, mm -hmm. they are going to be, simply put, they're going to be nasty pieces of work. Yeah, on the one hand, you'll discover that a lot of liberal women, especially the more self consciously liberal women, see, they are completely inflexible insofar as their outlook on the world. Mm -hmm. If you come at them with a different way of perceiving the world, something that goes against the grain of their ideology, it's not merely that they're just you know, going to listen to you politely and then move on. No, 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 they'll attack you. They'll attack you and, and say that you're completely wrong. And they're going to attack you with a fervor that goes beyond merely disagreeing about something, whatsoever that something may be. It's not that they're merely going to disagree with you. They're going to go after you with a vehemence, with a vengeance. Because, you see, from their point of view, you disagreeing with their point of view is not merely an issue of you having a different perspective on a particular issue. No, no, no. It signals to them that you are a moral failure that you're a bad person. Yeah, and so what they'll do is that they'll attack you. I mean, they'll attack you publicly and it'll be embarrassing, embarrassing to you, embarrassing to her, but she won't even care. She'll just attack you to show, if only to herself, that she's a good and decent person and she's attacking you, the evil bastard, who are espousing a perfectly legitimate point of view that she just happens to disagree with. You, you see the problem? See, it's not virtue signaling. People discount it as mere virtue signaling, but it's much more than that. See, it's not that they are signaling to other people. They're signaling to themselves. See, it, it, it's the basis of their perception of themselves as good and decent people. They have to attack you if you have a different point of view. They have to, and they will. Now, of course, this kind of disagreement, it's not going to come off in the first conversation or even the first few conversations. It'll take a while. Okay, And it could be that she finds you extremely attractive for whatever reason, and so she sort of like uh, hides or submerges her, her moral vitriol insofar as one or particular issue. Mm -hmm. I've done videos where I've said how, you know, MILFs, yeah, uh, um, single mothers, they hide who they truly are in order to latch on to the guy, in order to latch on to you. Mm -hmm. I've said that, right? Same thing with liberal chicks. Liberal chicks, if they find you attractive, if they find you that, that, that you are somebody that they should be with, okay, then they will submerge this uh, moral vitriol of theirs until you're into the relationship. But it'll eventually flourish. It'll eventually flourish because it happens every single time because they can't help themselves. Yeah, this moral vitriol, it'll come out and it'll get fucking ugly. I'll tell you that. I mean, I've had a few cases where I dated a girl and after a while it came out, right? And the thing is, see, I realized after the fact, of course, that she thought that she could convert me. <laughs> yeah, right, you know? Uh, you know, men and women can't change one another, okay? That's a big old lie, but that's for another video, but the point, see, these liberal women that I've dated on occasion, mm -hmm. Uh, they tried to convert me and when they realized that they couldn't convert me because I thought out the issues fairly, fairly uh, carefully and I had made up my mind and, and a lot of times these liberal girls, they come at you with half-assed idiocy uh, 
to try to change your mind about something, well, you know, I blew them out of the water, okay? And see, that, that caused a huge rift because see, it wasn't that I was dear, merely didn't uh, uh, change my mind in order to be with her. No, no, no. I gave good reasons why her ideas were bad ideas and that they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it and you know, it was just a big fucking mess. And it'll be a big fucking mess for you if you did a liberal check. Hey, look, see, not all liberal chicks, okay? Hey, you know that saying, not all women are like that? Yeah, yeah, not all liberal chicks are like that. There's a sliding scale, okay? See, you got on the very far end, you got the real hardcore lefties. And here in the middle, you've got the ones who are sort of like left wing because it's like uh, the, the done thing. It's, it's almost like a, like, like a social signifier. Well, in fact, it is a social signifier, but again, that's for another video. And then there are the ones uh, far over here that they say that they're left, but they don't really give a shit. They don't give a shit about politics in general, okay? Usually, those girls who are on the, on the far zero end of the scale, mm -hmm, those are the girls who have a very solid sense of who they are. And that's why they don't really care about politics, because they are not deriving a sense of self from political ideology. For them, political ideology is just you know, something that they kind of believe in, but it doesn't really affect them. The ones on the extreme, however, for them, the ones who are really political, for them, it's who they are. And for you to disagree with their politics, let alone reject her politics, for her, you're rejecting who she is. You are rejecting her. And that's why can't, she can't stomach it. So you see, you can only date the ones who are sort of like mildly liberal or not really liberal at all. They just talk about it, but don't really give a shit about it. Those are the women that you can date. The more political they are, I mean, self-consciously political, the, the less you can get involved with them because, because of the reasons I explained, see? Because you are rejecting them and they will hate you for it. Of course, this all assumes that you're a guy who's got political opinions that differ from a liberal chicks, right? And or uh, you're not going to change your mind because of the liberal chick, right? I mean, uh, the key issue, see? Because it could be that you're a guy who just doesn't give a shit about politics, right? And so you're gonna be thinking, well, I don't care about politics, so what do I really give a shit about as to whether my woman is uh, far lefty. Oh, son. See, even if you're completely apolitical, I mean, you just don't give a shit about it, okay? The problem is that this leftist bullshit, you know, she's gonna bring it into your home, man. She's gonna bring it into your apartment. She's gonna tell you what to eat, what to say, what to think. Do you really wanna be with a woman like that? Yeah, because that's the thing, you see? These hard left girls, right? The hard left girls, what's going on with them? Uh, they, they look at it like a moral precept. Their, their political ideology is a moral precept and they're going to do everything in their power to convert you. And eventually you're gonna hit some stumbling block that you're gonna say, no baby, uh -uh, I'm not gonna go that way. And that's gonna be the end of the relationship. And the thing is, see, that stumbling block, it's not gonna be just a little stumbling block that trips you up a little bit and you're on your way, no, no, no. It's going to be something foundational about who you are, who you perceive yourself to be, what you want out of life. And she's going to basically say, you know, either your life or my ideology. That's what she's going to tell you. Understand this all comes from insecurity. I mean, these women are incredibly insecure about who they are as people. You got to understand that. See, I mean, it's not, it's not personal. <laughs> it's not about you, man. It's about them. It's about them and how they are so insecure about their personality and what they believe and what they think, what, 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 who they really are. They are so blind to who they are that they latch on to this ideology and they latch on to it and it just causes trouble, it causes trouble for you. So understand the situation. I mean, look, it's not an issue of like shitting on them and saying, oh, these liberal bitches, they're all like blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You have to look at them and feel sorry for them. Hmm? Because these hard left women, uh, these women who get their entire identity and their sense of self from their politics, these are essentially hollow women. Mm -hmm. You ever read the poem by T.S. Eliot? Mm, same fucking thing. Huh? Only female. <laughs> yeah. They are hollow women who don't have anything inside it or 
they believe that they don't. See? They, they have this self-conception of themselves as being worthless, having nothing. Hmm? And so that's why they latch on to this. Huh? Or often, too, what they truly believe in their hearts goes so against what they've been programmed and conditioned to believe is what is morally good, that they have this weird disconnect between what flowers in their heart and what they have to believe in. And, and this contradiction is so heavy, so lethal, lethal to themselves and lethal to everybody around them, that you don't want to be around them. No, because eventually it'll blow up. It will eventually blow up in some way or another. I mean, have you noticed how many liberal girls are these huge sluts? I mean, they hop around from cock to cock. What do you think is going on? Or they're drug addicts, or they color themselves, cover themselves really, in tattoos. Or they binge drink every weekend, sometimes every fucking night. What do you think is going on? There's this great book I read by this uh, Boston uh, writer. Uh, her name's uh, Carolyn Knapp. Carolyn Knapp. It was called Drinking, A Love Story. And it was about her life. And she was a functioning alcoholic. And she was a good liberal girl from New England. You know, you know the type. You know, uh, uh, pale, blue eyes, long, lank, blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Very smart, very capable, very hardworking. Completely an alcoholic. I mean, an alcoholic to her boots. Mm -hmm. And totally liberal. See? You think that those two things aren't related? Yeah. See? Yeah, these poor girls, you gotta understand what's going on. And the crazy ones, same fucking thing. They're nuts. I mean, they're crazy crazy. The 40% that I mentioned, right? And, and what's going on with them? See? They're latching on to liberal politics like a, like a life raft. Mm -hmm. And if you attach yourself to her, well, you're gonna drown with her.